Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, look what has just arrived. The Marks William Crooks 1860 wood-burning steam engine. Now, this is really cool. These are not very common. This is the first one that I have ever seen, uh, personally. I've read a lot about them, but I have never seen one. So this arrived about three hours ago. It is running. It's actually running quite well. And uh, I just want to do a quick video on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically what this is, it's a Marks double reduction motor. Same motor that's in the 666. And uh, they've just mounted it in the back of this plastic shell, of course. Added a uh, front truck, which is very likely the front truck off of the 333. And uh, just configured it as an early wood-burning steam engine. Now, the motor is mounted backwards. The E-unit is on this end. And so technically, it's always running in reverse when it's going forward. Now, this one has a couple of issues. Nothing major. Uh, the first uh, issue, of course, is the fact that this was originally gold to match all of the uh, finials and filigree work. And uh, it's been repainted at some point red, as you see right here. So it was then painted red. It was then repainted black. So why? I have no idea. Anyway, I've seen lots of stuff, crazy stuff that people have done. This has all been uh, repainted with a brush it looks like. So I can restore this if uh, I think it's uh, worth the effort of actually restoring it. We're going to see. Uh, the major drawback, of course, is it has no weight since it's in a plastic body. The only true weight it has is the motor and the truck. And so it's uh, as far as a puller goes, it's actually quite poor. But I added a traction tire from black tape and this little engine is pulling the tender and four 13 inch Lionel passenger cars. Now the tender, I got this several days ago and uh, it's almost identical to the tender, the cast tender for the 333. Uh, side by side they're almost identical and they're uh, about the same size, this is slightly smaller. But I thought it would be a good choice to use with the uh, crooks until I find one that actually has a wood load and they made one and they're usually really expensive uh, I have never seen one of these before I've only read about them but uh, I put it on the uh, second rail I was really um, cautious about putting it on the outside rail if this should ever derail and fall off this table it's going to get majorly damaged so I'll run it on the, uh, the second rail and it's going to be pulling, like I said, uh, four 13-inch Lionel cars. And uh, I added the uh, traction tire made out of black tape. It made a tremendous difference. Now, this is also a smoker. I haven't uh, tested the smoke yet. Uh, I just got this a couple hours ago, about three hours ago, actually. And uh, just got it on the rail and running. So I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Uh, we're going to take... Uh, the crooks uh, pull four of these 13 inch passenger cars. Let's see how we do. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, let's take this up to here's 50% power. So that is running really well. That traction tire made a tremendous difference. It'll actually pull six of these cars, but I don't want to burn the brushes up. Let's slow this down, Let's take it down to 40% power. See what that does for us. So we're right on 40%. running really well.
also a neat little engine. It's going to be a lot of fun to play with this. I've been looking for one of these. You don't see them very often. A couple of times uh, they show up on eBay. And that is it. I've never seen one in an antique store or anything like that. Uh, they probably didn't survive. I just, I have never seen one. In any case, it's going to be a lot of fun to play with this. I'll be pulling it apart uh, very likely tomorrow. And uh, then I'll address the issues of uh, either restoring it. Uh, I may just run it as is for a while. It looks good. It's running well. It's going to be a lot of fun to play with this. It's a neat little engine. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. So uh, this is what I'll be running uh, it with for right now. And uh, see how it goes over the next couple days. But just, like I said, it's going to be a lot of fun to run this and play with it. I just want to do a quick video. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.